Hey everyone, it's May Donna. I'm making this video to talk about uh, another feature that I had added on to my CRI Genetics uh, account. Um, you can initially buy a kit and get the basic um, account where you where it shows like your your uh, regular DNA analysis and I'll quickly kind of go over that this is the modern day version of me that they've got okay and this is the deep dive uh, you know deeper level of DNA that they have on me which shows that I have a lot of different mixes of stuff uh, just like a lot of human beings out there uh, it's really amazing uh, I was very intrigued with what I found um, and also they have a timeline so you get that and it goes way on back the uh, disclaimer claims that it goes 50 generations back but mine actually went 76 generations back which was so awesome and you know so unexpected I was very pleased to see that so this was very fascinating and it was very helpful uh, in doing more research in my family tree. It did help me to find more people from certain ethnicity groups. Uh, so yeah, it, it really came in handy with that. Okay, but another feature that I just recently purchased to have added on to my basic account was the uh, feature that uh, connects you up to famous people through your mother's haplogroup. So, uh, and my mother's haplogroup is K2B, you know, which it's mine, it's my mother's, it's my sister's, it's my, you know, my mother's mother and her mother's mother it, it goes on through the whole female line of families okay so mine just happens to be k2b and uh i have when i uploaded my dna to different uh companies i have run across a few of these people here and there uh so it was kind of neat to see their faces again so it just kind of helps prove that yes you know they also have this line and um but for starters okay say take this oxy man for instance okay he's not k2b he's k1 okay but it comes from the k line okay uh the information that i've gathered on him and he also pops up in my uh 23 and me account they talk about him as well uh on this page and of course if you do a 23 and me test uh, whether you're a male or female, it will tell you what your uh, female line is. Now, if you're a female and you want to know what your father's line is, you will either have to get your male sibling to do a test or uh, your father or some other male that you know comes from your father's male line in order to find out what the Y haplogroup is because they, they don't just, you know, if you're a female, you don't have the Y chromosome. So therefore you won't be able to know what your father's line is. Uh, so anyway, uh, so all I can do is do the female line. Uh, so let me go to where it's at okay but anyway um as i was saying this otzi man that they found uh in uh up above the uh mountains around italy and all that stuff in the upper parts um they found out that he had been murdered um but that he came from the k line and uh, uh i believe it was k1 and uh, the interesting part about that is they, they're not, as of right now, or last information that I heard, they haven't really been able to find people that come from his particular uh, K, K1 line. And uh, so it's, it's very rare. And uh, so they, they can't really find people alive today that uh, come from that. I mean, they may have found a few, but it, it's considered very rare okay uh so they think it kind of mostly died out with him uh but like i said i'm k2b which is a part of k uh so i'm somewhat way distant <laughs> thousands and thousands of years distant kin um 
to this man, but I, my line did branch off to form a different thing. Okay. But anyway, having said that, he, he has popped up on my uh, readout. Okay. All right. Next is uh, Mike Nicholas. Uh, he was a famous writer and producer. Okay. Also was uh, Craig Venture. So he was born in 1946. Uh, he was a, a scientist. Uh, he was the first one to uh, uh, sequence the human gen genome, which was his own, actually. Uh, so that, that was interesting to read that about him. Uh, so that, that's kind of cool. And then also, I'm kin to Meryl Streep through my mother's line. Um, I, I, you know, that she popped up on a few other sites, and I thought that was kind of interesting. Uh, also, uh, Katie Couric. Uh, not too fond of her, but <laughs> that's a whole different story. Uh, also, Stephen Colbert. <laughs> Who would have thought? <laughs> but yeah, um, of course, the interesting thing is the Colbert name, because I'm kin to the Colberts through my father's side of the family, uh, Chief Colbert and all that stuff. So it's just interesting that I'm kin to this man with that name, also through my mother's line. So somewhere on his mother's side, on up through her branch, you know, you get the K, K1, K2 line. Okay. All right. Then there's uh, Harry Connick Jr. So I'm kin to him through his female line. Um, same thing with Maggie uh, Gyllenhaal and her brother, Jake Gyllenhaal. I'm kin to their uh, female line. Also, Richard III, I'm kin to him through his female line. And when I looked up his mother, she was uh, Cicely Neville, Duchess of York. So I'm kin to them through that. Um, so that, that was interesting. And I, I, you know, I have found out, or I believe that I have found out that through my mother, I am kin to the Descartiers, which lead into the Spencers and also the Royal line through all that. Uh, so to find a little bit extra on this, that's kind of interesting. And it kind of makes me want to do a little more digging into that and see where that kind of leads to. Uh, so yeah, that was interesting. Uh, also, I'm kin to Najib Halibi, however you pronounce that. Uh, I reckon he was an American businessman, government official, author, and celebrated aviator. Okay, so I'm kin to his female line. Uh, Larry Bird, <laughs> I'm, I'm kin to him through his female line. And uh, so far, that's what they've got on that. Now, if I were a male or if I uh, had a male uh, to do this test or whatever, then uh, on my father's side, then I probably could find out about his line and, and where that would, uh, you know, all the famous people that are kin on that side. But I haven't since my father's dead and uh, the men on my side, you know, most of them haven't done this or anything like that. So I will probably never know that, even though I have found out what my father's Y DNA group is through other Bassham males doing tests on uh, 23 and me and whatever. I finally was able to figure that out. But as far as being around someone in my close family who would do this test and show me their results, that that's not going to happen. So, but anyway, um, I just thought I would share this information with you guys and uh, just see what you thought. Anyway, we'll talk to you later. Bye.